What if I told you the Soviet Union once funded a horrifying experiment to create real-life super soldiers, half-human, half-ape hybrids, engineered in secret to obey without question, endure torture, and kill on command? This isn't science fiction. This is a true hidden chapter of history buried in Soviet archives for nearly a century. And the man behind it? A rogue Russian scientist named Ilya Ivanov, the world's forgotten pioneer of dark science and genetic engineering. Today we're diving into the chilling story of how Stalin tried to create a new species, not just to replace soldiers, but to redefine what it means to be human. If you're into dark history and the unknown, or conspiracies backed by declassified documents, you're going to want to watch this one to the end. Some researchers in the Soviet Union pursued dark science. They wanted to create a new kind of life, a cross between human and ape. Seven years after the Russian Revolution, the Soviet government cemented its power. Now its leaders look to stamp out religion, seeing it as a hindrance in a socialist society. Lenin and Stalin were both convinced they had to absolutely eradicate religion if they were going to bring about the glorious communist revolution. Following the ideas of Marx, they believed religion was the opium of the people, and it had to go. To further that cause, Stalin turned to a scientist named Ilya Ivanov, who had an unusual interest in human genetics. To show off the potential of this new science, Ivanov had already produced crossbreeds. But in 1924, he decided to try something far beyond merging two animals together. What Ivanov proposed was to crossbreed humans and chimpanzees to create what he called a human Z. It was a project so perverse it boggled the mind. But Ivanov was staking his reputation and his life on its success. He was convinced that if his experiments worked and apes and humans could successfully interbreed, it would prove they shared a common ancestor, thereby undermining the Bible and the notion of unique creation. Once Stalin gave Ivanov funding, the pressure was on to deliver. Ivanov traveled to Guinea in French West Africa and got to work. He artificially inseminated three female chimpanzees with human sperm. Unsurprisingly, it didn't work. So he decided to flip the experiment using chimpanzee sperm in a human woman. This was so dark and perverted that it proved too much for the authorities in Guinea. They had had enough of Ivanov and expelled him from the country. Ivanov was terrified at the prospect of failure. He had received serious funding from the USSR, and this was not a government to disappoint. Stalin was known to kill anyone who made a promise and couldn't fulfill it. When Ivanov returned to Russia, he tried to recruit new subjects for his experiments. He aimed to entice Soviet women into being artificially inseminated with chimpanzee sperm. Then the real purpose behind Ivanov's grotesque experiments was exposed. Stalin wanted regiments of completely obedient, super-capable, super-soldiers. In the 1920s, with Stalin's support, Ivanov engaged in this shocking hybridization experiment. His alleged goal was to challenge the belief that God created man. After his experiments in Africa failed, Ivanov returned home with four chimpanzees. He continued seeking Soviet women for insemination, but the chimpanzee he had earmarked to donate samples a 26-year-old named Tarzan, died of a brain hemorrhage before any samples could be taken. Ivanov was officially a failure, and Stalin did what he did to those who disappointed him. Ivanov was sent to the Gulag. His notes and research disappeared for decades, lost in the labyrinth of Soviet archives. When they were finally uncovered, they revealed something new. The real hidden purpose of Ivanov's experiments didn't become known until 2005 when a revelatory story was published in the Scotsman newspaper. The paper revealed that this was never just about undermining religion. It was about developing a new breed of half-human, half-ape super soldiers. It sounds like something out of a comic book. But according to the paper, Stalin had ordered Ivanov to create a living war machine for the Red Army. Consider the physical characteristics of chimpanzees. Incredibly strong, resistant to pain, indifferent to diet, and willing to endure abuse. What Stalin wanted was regiments of completely obedient, super-capable super-soldiers. Stalin's hybrid human-ape army, however, never came to be. While Ivanov's name faded from public memory, 
The disturbing ambition behind his work never really disappeared. In fact, many believe his failed experiment was just the first step in a longer, darker journey. During the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union explored forbidden frontiers, from mind control programs like MKUltra to rumored genetic manipulation in secret underground labs. What if Ivanov's failed human-ape hybrid was simply too ahead of its time? Some declassified files suggest both sides pursued their own versions of a real super-soldier project, not by mixing species, but by enhancing human traits through chemicals, conditioning, or even altering DNA. The idea of engineering strength, obedience, and fearlessness didn't die with Ivanov. It evolved. Could today's advancements in CRISPR gene editing be leading us back toward the same ethical edge? And if science is once again in the hands of power-hungry leaders, how far are we from reviving experiments like Ivanov's, only this time with the tech to make them succeed? Ivanov may have failed, but his vision, twisted as it was, still haunts our modern age. Because when science is no longer guided by morality, the question isn't, can we do something? It's who will stop us when we do. Stalin's interest in experimental science didn't stop with Ivanov. Throughout the 1930s and 40s, he funded countless secret projects aiming to manipulate nature, biology, and even psychology, all in the name of creating the perfect Soviet citizen. Some scientists were tasked with exploring forced evolution. Others worked on terrifying ideas like weaponized telepathy or reconditioning criminals through surgical brain manipulation. In that twisted landscape, Ivanov wasn't an outlier. He was a prototype. His willingness to sacrifice ethics for ideology made him a perfect tool for Stalin's vision. Stalin believed that biology could be bent to serve the state, that even nature itself could be made communist. And if that meant erasing the line between man and beast, so be it. Ivanov's failure didn't end the dream. It just forced it deeper underground into the shadows of Soviet science, where consequences no longer mattered, only results. It reminds us how far ideology can push science beyond ethical limits when progress is pursued at the cost of humanity. Ilya Ivanov's experiments may have failed, but his dark ambition remains a cautionary tale in a world still grappling with the power of genetic engineering and synthetic biology. If you're fascinated by hidden stories and disturbing truths from history, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because we're just getting started uncovering the secrets they never wanted us to know. Drop a comment below. Do you think a human-ape hybrid was ever truly possible? Or was Ivanov chasing a nightmare no one should ever attempt to realize? Thanks for watching. And remember, history isn't always written by the victors. Sometimes it's buried in the unknown by them.